Well, it hasn't been six months and 14 days already. Yes. Everyone was taking themselves off Spotify because Joe Rogan said the N-word. Oh, okay. Joe Rogan's racist. Oh, okay. Joe Rogan's against the LGBAIVRSV. He's a, he's against it. Okay. Joe Rogan got a concealed carry. Well, keep it up. Keep it up. Good for Joe Rogan. Well, you know, he, sorry, he's had how many death threats against him because he has an opinion? You have the right to defend yourself. And it's nobody's business if you have if the purpose of concealed carry is so that your adversary doesn't know if you're carrying. So that an armed society is a civil society. It's a polite society. Open the door for you. How are you, sir? Not piss off. Oh, my God. So... It's the economy, stupid. Of course it is. Joe Rogan got a concealed carry. As well as a million plus from the left are all scrambling to gun stores and to concealed carry instructors to get their paperwork in uh, turned in before the ban. Ah, so that you, well, after the ban, ah, I understand, but I need mine now. Boy, that's some unbelievable hypocrisy, isn't it? Uh, hi. Did I say hi? I don't think so. So Gotham, say, piss off. Uh, John Cleese. Uh, Metropolis, Emerald City, Xanadu, Babylon, and the ISS, and the rest of you. I, I found that headline of all the ones that popped this morning. Joe Rogan got a few kids. Okay. That's what you got. All right. Hey, if we pass this, uh, emergency security measures for the Supreme Court justices since there's been an assassination attempt? No. Actually, KDVR, very diverse in Denver, were uh, supporting and celebrating the fact that John Hinckley is out of prison now and he's performing a sold-out concert. Well, that headline is technically months old. That concert was announced. It's a small venue, and the tickets were going to be expected to be sold out, period. But glorifying John Hinckley, you guys are fucking psychos. He was mentally ill, and he was, he's better now, and he's an artist, and he's, he is just the poster child for prison reform. I want to say the cop's name started with a D. Sarah, uh, uh, at the hotel, you know, James Brady, most confident, James Brady, uh, shut up about James Brady and your gun ban bullshit. Uh, I want to say the officer was sergeant. I can see the black bushy hair and the black mustache. Unless that's the secret service guy who jumped in front of the bullet. Man, it's been a long time. They're celebrating John Hinckley Jr. out of prison. Yeah. You know, Colorado during COVID, Governor Polis, of course, pardoning Lathan Dunlap, didn't he? Remember, we're going to get him the death penalty, you know, because it's prevented from our... Oh, but Nathan Dunlap happens to be a particular demographic in which hashtags matter. So, uh, Governor Polis, of course, during COVID decided to uh, you know, more political groundwork for his presidential run in 2024. Who else? Now, everybody agrees that, um, oh, well, Biden is going to run. Yeah, well, we're not going to vote for him if he does. I mean, his party. I'm not talking about the, you know, the 81 million people who allegedly voted for him the first time. Um, yeah, because the polling data now clearly showing 31 it's technically 30%, but plus or minus 3 has it as high as 33. And I've seen one publication now as low as 29.8% of the American 29.8, okay. And 98.6%. Joe Rogan got a consumed carry point. Good. I, I don't 
think everybody should be in it. This is ridiculous because I'm an instructor, but that's for another reason because we're not bringing anybody home in a body bag on a detail. And that was the inception behind the class of 2020. Or the vision or the idea of the inception. <laughs> Rooftop. Um... Nathan Dunlap, uh, Governor Polis. Kamala Harris, uh, nobody has confidence in Joe Biden and no one wants Kamala as the next for leader of the free anything, including the Girl Scouts of America. So that's interesting. Um... stupid now they're claiming recession possible over the next two years when it's already striking America corporate America now with many companies announcing of course 10% layoff oh yeah um, Elon stuff I have to still st yeah well for, okay <laughs> hey look <laughs> you're not happy pretending to work here, you're free to leave and go pretend to work somewhere else. By the way, working means working. It means coming into the office. It means taking responsibility. It means guaranteeing that we have an open platform for all opinions to be... Oh. Alright, so we'll see what happens now here in the next 96 hours because of that uh, meeting... I know Pasovic was covering it, um, Project Veritas, uh, you guys will want to kind of go down that rabbit hole at your own risk, but, oh, the problems we may be about to have, and, um, just when we talk about free speech, oh, who's free speech? Your free speech, not, okay, we're getting into some very dangerous water here. And um, speaking of dangerous water, the January 6th hearings, more revelations about what testimony is going to be talked about, what isn't, and why bringing forth information might be confusing. That's the latest spin out of the media regarding many people questioning the attempt to polish certain points of the narrative and abolish other points of the narrative and why um, I mean it's obvious why is it so uh, bias I mean it's former ABC News head and uh, I want to say good morning America but they were like and I don't want to slam heads and former heads John McConnell say hi. I'm not slamming former heads of it. But, I mean, it's a very high... The hearings are highly polished and they're not going anywhere. They're agenda-driven. People are seeing through that. And everyone is now begging the question, where's the political end to this? Other than we know that you don't want Trump to run and you want to prevent him from doing that. By your own testimony, all this now comes down to is Merrick Garland and the FBI and the Justice Department, which are operating as an extension of the administration in play. So, that's not justice. And the public are seeing through that really fast. Now, we'll see if I'm right or wrong. 